This video tells how to use Sony Acid Music Studio to record your own vocals with professional instrumentals. Start up Sony Acid Music Studio. And the first thing we want to do is go File, Extract Audio from CD. Choose the track that you want to extract the instrumentals from. So I'm going to ask you for a name. And that'll take a little while to extract. Now, what we have is a plug that goes into the speaker port on the PC. And it's got right and left channels. The right channel goes straight to the earphones. The left channel split. It also goes to the earphones. But in addition, it goes back into the microphone port. It's going to go to the microphone port on the PC. Along with that left channel going in, the right channel is going to come straight from the mic. So we don't need to use Beat Mapper. Okay, we've got the first Noel. For some reason, I'm not quite sure why, but it makes me ex expand it here. Expand this. Drag it all the way on out as long as the song is. And what we want to do now is we want to plug in Plug in our headset, our headphones, and our microphone. Then right click, insert audio track. And for some reason, it's not showing us the ability to record on this audio track. Uh, I think it's doing it because there was no microphone plugged in when we first started Sony Acid Music Studio. So let's not save start over. It's kind of annoying even though I plugged in the mic. It's not going to let me record that without restarting. So file, extract, CD, number two. Okay. It's actually called the first Noel. Would you like to overwrite it? Yes. <clears throat> Okay, one thing about your CD needs to be of a split track type. In other words, your vocals need to be on the left channel or right channel, and the instrumentals need to be on the other. In effect, what we're going to do is we're going to keep the instrumentals, but we're going we're gonna to discard uh, their vocals, and we're going to substitute our own vocals. Now we can insert an audio track. It's going to let us have this button, which is arm for record. Okay. Now again, we have to drag this out, expand it on out, so we can see the full length of the song. That's a long song. Okay. We've got to do the same thing with with a uh, track we want to record. We've got to record it, and make it just as long. Okay. Now we just arm this for record. It's ready to record. As soon as we click record down here, it's going to do it. So we put on our headsets, and we'll be able to hear in our headsets the vocals and the instrumentals off the CD. We will sing into the microphone, and it will record uh, our vocals and along with the professional instrumentals. So you just click record, and as you can see, uh, it is recording and both the instrumentals and the vocals. Now, some things to play around with here. Um, you can make it a little bigger. You can, I think it's good normally to adjust this volume up to 12 um, decibels. Also, unlock uh, these two. You might find that the instrumentals you want to tone down a little bit. Uh, and that way the person's uh, vocals are 
um, uh, enhanced compared to the instrumentals. And so anyway, you let it play on out, and when you're finally done, it's all the way to the end, and you would, would stop this, and you can play it back very easily. Don't record it, and you mute this one, and then you play it back, and you would hear in your earphones uh, what you just recorded. Now, you do that multiple times. When you finally get it the way uh, you want it, then you would do file, render as, and you would render it as a WAV file or whatever format it, it lets you uh, choose there. And then you save it, and that will be um, that will be your recording. Now, before you before you actually save it, what I like to do is, you know, as I'm playing it, I like to pl again play around with the the balances here between the, the channels. Now, this will, I will say this will save the Audio, the instrumentals on one channel and it'll save your vocals on another channel. I haven't found yet how this software, this Acid Music Studio, will allow you to blend them both into both channels. So for right now, I'm just able to have them on separate channels, but maybe that's my, that's, that'll be my next step. Thank you for watching.